Okay, we have here Canon's TSE 17mm tilt shift lens attached to a Metabones speed booster connected to the Olympus EM1. This is as front heavy as it looks, yes. Uh, the mount seems to be able to handle it just fine. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I could mount this onto the quick release plate from the lens or from the speed booster. The speed booster does have uh, an arc adapter, however, the arc adapter conflicts with the L plate that I have connected to the camera and therefore I can't use it at the moment. Normally it would be right here. And then if I were to disconnect my L plate to use the speed booster adapter, I wouldn't be able to turn the camera into portrait mode in order to shoot verticals um, centered on the tripod. So I've elected just to go with the mount uh, mounting this weight. Okay, so the Canon lens, if you're not familiar with it, has an enormous bulb for a front element and you need to be very careful using it. E easy to get prints on there, easy to get a scratch on there. Um, there is a hood and there are filter holders. I'm not using it at the moment so I'm just going to keep this protected for the demonstration. So on Canon's lens, you have two controls. This controls the shifting action, excuse me, the tilt action. The second knob controls the shifting action. There's a little knob on the side that lets you rotate this so you can adjust at which angle you're tilting and shifting. And on the back side you can see there's a lock. We'll go ahead and release those for both the tilt and the shift. You can rotate both independently of each other as well, which is nice. So shifting, you have a little scale here. You can go about 12 millimeters up in either direction. So we can go down, we can shift upwards, and then we can also tilt. And you can see we can tilt independently of the shift as well. It makes for a pretty interesting look. Um, and you can do some really cool things with this. Number one, architecture. If you want to keep your lines straight, this is really the best way to go. Also, if you're doing any kind of um, deep depth of field work, tilting allows you to adjust the plane of focus to be in line with your subject's plane, and that's invaluable in some subjects. All right, so when you're gonna use a lens like this, you wanna first make sure you're absolutely level. So I've already leveled the camera here, and the Olympus has the built-in level, uh, which is a very useful tool. If not, you can use a spare level or um, the bubbles built into your tripod. Whatever you do, just make sure you're level, and if you then change the position of your camera or the tripod, re-level, don't forget to do that. So. I'm going to make a shot and just show you the composition just where the camera sees uh, straight on in front of it. Self timer. All right. And then I'm just going to shift upward so you can see getting the nicer composition by simply just moving uh, the lens shift versus moving the camera upwards. We can get a much nicer composition. What this really does is allow you to set the camera at a height you want for the proper perspective and then adjust its actual view to the view you need. Now if you want to do a panorama of the same scene, what you could do is take a shot right in the middle, then shift the lens 100% down, take another shot, then shift the lens 100% up the other way and take your final shot. Back in Lightroom you can select those three photos and merge them into a panorama and that'll output a raw file for you ready to edit from there uh, with all three images aligned and put together into a single file.